This reconstruction of Cotton Hall from the 1985 study by Dorothy O'Hanlon is based on the 1838 tithe map, Ordnance Survey maps, and on this written description by Joseph Killow from the Haydock Papers. To the south it presented three gables in the post and pan style, a fine remnant of the half-timbered houses of the 14th century. At the northwestern corner of the house stood a lofty stone erection with a flat leaded roof. This was probably the portion of the house described in the marriage settlement of William Haydock and Jane Anderton in 1670 as the hall, the buildings over the hall, the chamber at the higher end of the hall, the buttery, the boarded chamber with a little closet and a chamber over the entry. The banqueting hall was a spacious apartment having at one end a huge stone fireplace stretching from one side to the other. A moat surrounded the mansion which was approached through an extensive and well wooded park by a long avenue from the Tag on the eastern side and a shorter drive from Plumpton on the north. When the building was removed in the early part of this century and a farmhouse erected to the southwest, a secret hiding place was revealed adjoining the ancient domestic chapel and in it were found a few articles of altar furniture and a skeleton. The skeleton would be either that of William Haydock, executed at Worley after the Pilgrimage of Grace, or of Vivian Haydock, father of the Blessed George, who was allegedly buried in the chapel. The eastern approach from the tag can be seen on the 1848 Ordnance Survey map, as well as on these map extracts from 1893 and 1911. Today, the line of Cotton Hall Lane still runs from near the junction of Tag Lane and Tanterton Hall Road and into the Hall site. This overgrown path close to Cotton Hall Farm today, I believe, is the original line of the end of Cotton Hall Lane marked by the short double dotted line on the 1848 Ordnance Survey map. This path would have led me right up to the door of Cotton Hall in this very place where I now stand. <laughs>